morning. Guys, it's 4.45 a.m. I just up the took his office and a lot of this.
just checked out of our first Airbnb here in Cappadocia, or should I say, oh, Gorem actually. We've got a space of about three hours before we can check into our next one. So um, the reception staff at Takaya have kindly allowed us to leave our bags with them until um, we come back and check in to the next place. But yeah, big shout out to the staff at Takaya, beautiful property. Um, and very friendly owners. They also own two restaurants here in Gorem. One called La Linda, which we actually dined at last night. Yeah, and it was a really good experience. Beautifully furnished, um, beautiful fit out. And then they also own, uh, there's an Indian restaurant. So you'll find the, the menus for both of those restaurants if you stay in a room at Takaya, but yeah really really good experience and yeah this morning we actually went air ballooning hot air ballooning so that was really good yeah just wanted to check in and let you guys know so we're just about to head off to grab some coffee now so guys as you're walking around the city center like there are there's just these like random little fairy chimneys here and it's just dotted throughout the the village Okay guys, we're at Airbnb number two. We're at the Anatolia Fairy Chimneys and no, Anatolia, we're at the Anatolia Cave Hotel actually slash pension and oh my gosh, it is just as beautiful as Takar. But this time we're actually staying, we're staying in an actual fairy chimney. The room we're staying in actually used to be, we're told it was um, the old stable. And yeah, it's the it's the ground floor room of the, the chimney. So I think there's like t uh, two or three sort of rooms up, like levels up from here. And the top level op opens up to the terrace that uh, I'll bring you guys to tomorrow morning. But yeah, quick little room tour. As you walk in straight ahead, you'll see the bathroom. So up these stairs basin the shower and then bathroom and then coming back down the stairs you've got a cute little sitting area a tea station and then bed and then off the bed is this beautiful rug day three here in Cappadocia and what a glorious morning you can see the fairy chimneys there behind me so night two we spent here at the Anatolia cave hotel so we did night one in Takaya and then night two here at Anatoly so both very very beautiful places to stay we had a really beautiful breakfast here at Anatolia this morning this is the view from their rooftop terrace if you can see behind me just the ferry chimneys there overlooking that beautiful view of the mountain in the background there so we're just about to head off to lunch and yeah just figure out where we're hiking to today from there <laughs> at the bottom level of this ferry chimney is where we stayed last night Cappadocia. Wow. Name is Ertan. I'm from here, Cappadocia. And what company are you with? Um, if people want to come. Adventure and 
company 10 years guide We are, where are we? Is this the Devon Valley? This is the, the, one of the stops that we um, made yesterday, but the path that we took to get here was insane for all the most awesome reasons. Our guide, Ertan, oh, amazing. Highly, highly recommend him if you guys come to Gorem. And he's with Adventure Tours, just as an FYI. Very reminiscent of those caves in Vietnam. There was quite a bit of litter. <laughs> this looks exactly like our Airbnb we just checked out of. <laughs> Right across the river there is Asia. So we're changing continents and we're gonna go and check it out. It's the Asian part of Istanbul. ferry ride across the Bosphorus. We're now in Karikoi, which is on the Asian side of uh, Istanbul. So for those who don't know, Istanbul actually, um, just depending on what side you're in, will determine whether you are in Europe or Asia. So um, yeah, like I said, we're in Karikoi, just grabbing some tea and a Coke, just to recharge and reset before we head off uh, to check out the antique market and uh, see what else we can find. Yeah, you cut it quick. Oh no, I gave my heart away. Went a bit too far. So wrong. Oh no, open up my soul. But babe, how could I know?
okay guys, we're at this place now, having knefe, having knefe, um, and the service, let me tell you, the service has been night and day in terms of the difference, um, yeah, so anyway, we'll I'll check in with you guys later, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. Day six here in Istanbul, and we are headed to check out a few of the sites, including uh, the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping we can get back to the um, bazaar because <laughs> there's a few items of jewelry that have been on my mind for like the length of the time that we've been here. We checked out the Grand Bazaar, I think it was like day one. We were here in Turkey. I did manage to buy a chain. There's a few other items, for instance, like some earrings and possibly um, a pendant or two that I was wanting to grab. So hoping we can get to the Grand Bazaar, but we'll see how the day unfolds. So on our second day here in Istanbul, we actually did a food tour. That was, it was actually my birthday present. And our tour guide, Errol, actually told us that one of the ways you can tell that an area is populated by locals is when you see um, a bakery. So he said, so he's, he lives on the Asian side um, and he said everywhere you go, like every second sort of street corner, you'll come across a bakery and that's one of the distinguishing sort of factors for how you can tell there are locals in the area. So we just passed by a bakery and it makes sense because I've seen quite a few locals in the area that we're staying. So we're staying in a different part of Beyoğlu, but yeah, really interesting to see that. <laughs> And also good to have that look, um, that um, little bit of insight. So we're just headed down to catch the tram, tram over to the Blue Mosque and that general precinct. So yeah. So guys, another interesting fact that we learned on the food tour from our guide Errol was, so with the uh, with a lot of the tea that they have here, it's, you'll notice that they serve them in like funny like shaped glasses, but what we learned is that they're actually in the shape of the tulip, which is a significant symbol in Islam in Turkey, the tulip and the rose. And another really interesting thing was that they actually, the Turks actually introduced the tulip into Europe and yeah it's it's taken off in holland so yeah that was really interesting to sort of learn that but yeah pretty cool pretty cool information there that we picked up on that food tour but yeah the shape of this is beautiful so there's like several different varieties here in this garden and you'll see they've got that shape and then just the more like conventional shape that you'll see in like flower shops in england but yeah really really beautiful so here guys we're at more of the conventional shape of tulip that will, you'll see in those flower shops but I think it's so cool that they have those different they have all these different varieties here and such beautiful colors
So guys, this in my hand here is a Turkish ice cream and really interesting fact that we learnt on the food tour as well is that because it's made from goat milk, it, it doesn't melt. So it's still cold and it still has the taste of ice cream but yeah like I said because of what it's made from being goat milk that's the reason why it doesn't melt. <laughs> well miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. <laughs>